Are you hyped about life? Like I'm talking about you woke up this morning, you're like, I'm fucking stoked to be alive. I can't wait to get into this project or to do this thing. I can't wait to spend time with my friends, my family, my lovers. I'm stoked about living well. I created what I call a hype assessment. It's a form that's designed to uh, look at, ask yourself these questions and fill out every single evening to just find out how hyped you are and to help you continually live a hyped existence. And then I also create a little form called the Hype Progression, which is just three questions that you can ask yourself every single morning uh, that will ultimately aid you in continually progressing in your um, lit existence. So let's just jump right in. As I ask these questions, there are five questions in the hype assessment, three questions in the hype progression. When I ask these questions, I actually want you to pause the video and I want you to take the time to write down those questions on a, on a piece of paper. I'm gonna drop a link below for you guys to be able to uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, download these forms so that you can actually do them every single day. You can actually write down these questions every single day. I mean, it's, it's, only, <laughs> it's only eight questions, so you can do it without the form, but I'm still gonna drop a link below. So uh, here, without further ado, here are the questions of the hype assessment. The hype assessment is just to kind of get a picture of how hyped you really are about life. What did I do today that was lit? Now, I want you to fill that out right now. If you're watching this in the AM, obviously, maybe you're going to be answering that question from yesterday. This form is designed to be able to actually fill out every single at the end of every single week or at the end of every single day. I personally do this at the end of every single day, and I do the hype progression first thing in the morning. So what did I do today that was lit? Second question, what three things did I do this week that got me hyped? Three things that you are excited about, that you are hyped about this week. Pause the video, write them, write them down. Third question, what three things did I do this week that were fresh or new? Now, a lot of people have a hard time, they have a difficult time figuring out the things that they're hyped about and figuring out the things that, that are new. Like, did I do anything that was new? Because the truth is we get so used to just going through the motions of life that we're not necessarily doing new, fresh things. So understand that it doesn't have to be some sort of monumental, enormous task. Like I skydived this week and it was a, it was a new experience. Although that's fucking awesome. It doesn't have to be that way. It can literally be like I did two extra reps at the gym today on an exercise or I did a new weight. I had a new PR at the gym today, or I was trying some new parkour moves out in my, you know, out on the street, or uh, I was able to get into a, a split. I worked on doing a split today or a backflip or I worked all my communication skills. It can, it can be any number of things that you're doing new, but you're adding something new to your mind and then to your body. So what three things did you do this week that were fresh? Fourth question, what creative expressions did you invest your time, energy, and money into this month? Now you can ask this daily, weekly, and monthly. I like to do a weekly assessment and I actually like to do a monthly assessment as well. And so, uh, but I'll, I'll ask myself at the end of every day, like what creative expressions did I invest my energy, my time and my money into today? And maybe that was a personality sculpting or it was body sculpting. Um, you know, when it comes to uh, actually what we're clothing ourselves with, a lot of times that has actually to do more with personality sculpting for me. So it's more of an artistic expression, what I'm wearing. So did I invest my money well? Am I gonna get a return on my time and my energy and my money? If you want to check out um, what I'm talking about investing, when I'm talking about investing your time, your energy, and your money, there is a uh, video here. I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw it up here that you can actually go check out. It was of a talk that I did. It's probably about an hour long video, and it was of a talk I did recently. I think it will really uh, not only improve your productivity and performance, but it's going to fucking get you excited about life. And the fifth question is, what three things am I stoked about right now? What three things three things that you're fired up about, that you're fucking stoked about, that you're hyped about right now. 
pause the video, write down all those questions. Now, I'm gonna jump right into the hype progression. You ready? This is the questions I ask myself every morning, the three simple basic questions that if you ask yourself every morning and you actually take the time to fill out and you take the time to start visualizing your day, it will absolutely blow your mind how much more excited you will be about life. What three things am I stoked about right now? Now, that is the same question that was at the end of the hype assessment that we're asking here in the hype progression because this is so valuable and so important to our life. The only difference is instead of me asking that at the end of the day, I'm asking it at the beginning of the day and the timing is everything. Second question, what is today's edge? When I'm talking about an edge, I'm talking about living on the edge of your comfort zone. You have to define what your comfort zone is in every aspect, uh, every field of your existence, every aspect of your life. If you don't know where your comfort zone is, it's time. It's because you're way too comfortable. And so what we want to do is we want to like get right up into the edge of that comfort zone. And we want to start hitting the edge and not going too far over the edge where we're producing tons of stress continually and cortisol and all that stuff. And But we want to stress our minds and our bodies just enough where we're really feeling the intensity of it all. Because what that's actually doing is it's not only producing brand new neural pathways in our brain and uh, and all that jazz, but it's actually really, really good for our bodies, for anti-aging and so many other things. And if you're not living on the edge, you're just going through the motions. Third question, what new thing am I going to learn to do? What new thing am I going to do or learn to do today? What new thing am I going to do or learn to do today? These are vital questions. Write down the answer to those questions every single morning. Take this form. Write the, the, those, the answer to those questions down and then live intentionally. Begin to really explore those things and live intentionally. Listen, guys, I love you so much. I hope this helps. Remember... The more you awaken, the more you play. I'll talk to you soon.